Solvete omnes. Uh, we'll be talking Grammatica Latina, Latin grammar today. This is on Lingua Latina per se illustrata, uh, Latin language illustrated through itself, chapter 2, capitulum secundum. And you can see here uh, we'll be dealing with genders, masculinum, masculine, feminine, femininum, uh, feminine, and neutrum, neuter, uh, which literally in Latin means neither, neither masculine or feminine. And we'll be looking at genitivus, casus genitivus, the genitive case, uh, which is used for possession and also what we might translate with of in English. All right, let's get going. Masculinum, femininum, neutrum, masculine, feminine, neuter. Servus est vocabulum masculinum. Servus, notice the U.S. is italicized, is a masculine word. So the us is a masculine ending. Anquila. Est vocabulum femininum. Anquila is a feminine word. Opidum est vocabulum neutrum. Opidum is a neuter word. Exempla, examples. Vocabula masculina, Latin uh, masculine words, right? Filius, dominus, puer, vir, fluvius, oceanus, numerus, liber, titulus. Masculinus, us, uh, fortasse, er or perhaps are. Um, so if you'll notice, looking through this list, you've got filius, dominus, you've got fluvius, oceanus, numerus, and you've got titulus. All of those words end with a us, sometimes with an ius, like filius and fluvius, that is an i-us, but mostly just with us added on to some type of, um, say, consonant stem. But in any case, the us is very recognizable as a masculine ending. And then they also give in parentheses the R, because you get some words like puer, boy, weir, man, uh, liber, book, that have that R ending, and those are also masculine too. Vocabula femenina, feminine words, femina, puella, filia, domina, insula, provincia, litera, familia, pagina. Femininum, a. So essentially this is showing us the a ending is a feminine, uh, we, we should specify here, feminine singular ending. So all of those words are examples. Vocabula neutra, neuter words. Opidum, imperium, vocabulum, capitulum, exemplum, pensum. Neutrum, um. All of these neuter words end with um. And again, these are all singular words ending in um. So a neuter singular, and these are second declension, just as are the us and r masculine words, second declension, and the feminine words are first declension. More about that later when we learn to decline. Now, all of these words so far um, have been nominative forms. Nominative is used for the subject of a sentence, and also if you link a word to the subject, you would say a linking verb like est, which means is. For example, I could say, uh, familia, the family, est magna, is big. And so magna and familia are both ending in the nominative singular a ending. Familia is the subject, the family, is big, magna, est magna. So the magna ends with the same ending because it, it's linked back to the subject, it describes it. We might call that a predicate nominative or predicate adjective in English. All right, moving on though, we have a new case called casus genitivus, the genitive case. Masculinum, Julius Dominus Servi Dawi Est. So if we were to translate this in English, we'd say Julius is the master of the slave, Servi, or of Dawus, Dawi. So Servi with a long I on the end there means of the slave, and Dawi with a long I on the end means of Dawus. So the word for slave is Servus, and the name for the slave here is Dawus. Both of those are us type masculine words. But if we want to say of the slave or of Dawus, we change that us into a long I ending pronounced E. Second example, Julius Dominus Servorum Dawi et Medi Est. So, servorum is a plural version of this. It's a genitive plural, we could call it. 
So it would be of the slaves or of slaves, plural. There is no word for the in Latin, so whenever you want to put a the in, you can. So we can say of slaves or of the slaves. And then in parentheses, we have of davus and of medus. Okay, so those are the two slaves meant here in this sentence. Servi genitivus est. Servi is genitive. Servorum quoque genitivus est. Servorum also genitive is, or in other words, is also genitive. Servi genitivus singularis est. Servi is a genitive singular. Servorum est genitivus pluralis. Servorum is a genitive plural. Genitivus singularis e pluralis orum. So the genitive singular ends in e, long i, and the plural is orum with a long o and then rum. Femininum, the feminine. Emilia domina anchilae surae est. So here we have Emilia is the mistress domina of the slave woman anchilae. So here the ae ending means that this is genitive, so we're going to use of when we translate, of the slave woman. Anchila is the word for slave woman, and anchilae then is the genitive singular of the slave woman. Sura is the name of the slave woman, and surai here is the genitive singular form of that name, meaning of Sira. We can also translate a genitive with a possessive uh, s on the end, so the apostrophe s that we get sometimes, or sometimes it's S apostrophe, words ending in S or something like that. All right, going on to the next example. Emilia domina anchilarum surai et deliae est. So anchilarum, just like the servorum above, is now a plural ending. It's a genitive case still, but it is a genitive plural. So we'll say of, and then we'll use a plural. Emilia is the mistress of the slave women Anchilarum, and then we name the two slave women in the genitive versions of their name of Syra, Surai, and of Delia, Deliae. So again, Delia and Sura are their names, but when we say of them, in Latin you don't do that with a preposition, you do it by changing the spelling of the words. Surai, Deliae, of Syra and of Delia. Anchilae, genitivus singularis est. Anchilae is a genitive singular. Anchilarum es genitivus pluralis. Anchilarum is a genitive plural. Genitivus singularis i pluralis arum. The genitive singular ends in i for this feminine word, or these feminine words, any word of this type. And the genitive plural is arum for any of these feminine words of this type. Neutrum, neuter. This is our last of the three genders in Latin. De es prima litera vocaboli dominus. D is the first letter of the word vocaboli. Master, dominus. We should probably say dominus because the word master in English doesn't start with D. All right, numerus vocabulorum magnus est. The number of the words is great. Now, if we look at these uh, italicized endings, vocaboli, You'll notice that the long I looks just like we saw in the masculine genitive singular, serwi. Uh, vocabulorum, the orum ending, looks just like we saw for serworum in the masculine. That's because there's a little similarity between these masculine and neuter words in that they're both second declension. We'll learn more about that later, but essentially there are a few differences between neuter and masculine, but there are lots of similarities as to how the words are spelled in different places. So vocaboli of the word, just like serwi of the slave, vocabulorum of the words, just like serworum of the slaves. So often neuters will end up looking like masculines. Going on, vocaboli genitivus singularis est. Vocaboli is genitive singular. Vocabulorum es genitivus pluralis. Vocabulorum is the genitive plural. Genitivus singularis e pluralis orum. Well, that concludes the Grammatica section um, for Capitulum Secundum, uh, Chapter 2 of Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrata. Uh, hopefully, this made some sense, maybe you learned a few things, and take care till next time. Curate vos. Valete!